So here's an interesting question. How many times has the Earth been struck by an asteroid? When you look at the Moon, or planets like Mercury, you can tell right away that they've been impacted a lot because you can physically count hundreds of craters on their surface, but this isn't really the case with Earth. Perfectly preserved impact craters are rare or blend in extremely well with the environment here, and it's not because Earth has been impacted any less, it's because Earth has processes like erosion and tectonic activity that the Moon and Mercury don't. The Earth has likely been hit by asteroids just as many times as the Moon or Mercury in the past, but how many times have humans actually witnessed an event like this happening? To start with, the Earth has likely already been hit several times today and may be getting hit right now while you're watching this video by extremely small pieces of rocks called meteoroids, which can range in size from a grain of sand up to a 1 meter wide object. About 15,000 tons of objects of this size enter the Earth's atmosphere every year, and while most of these don't reach the surface, the few that do are called meteorites. Like this one that hit somebody's house in the San Francisco Bay Area back in 2012, or this one that smashed through somebody's car in Illinois in 1938. But the larger an asteroid is, the larger the damage that is caused by it. Asteroids with a diameter of 4 meters, or about the size of an elephant, hit the Earth about once every year on average, while objects about 7 meters wide, which can cause an explosion similar in scale to the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, hit our planet about every 5 years or so. An event the same scale as Hiroshima happening every few years may seem like it would be spectacularly obvious, but they generally go unnoticed because a majority of the Earth's surface is covered in water, a majority of the Earth's landmass is still sparse populated and many of these objects simply explode in the upper atmosphere. Several impact events occur every year without ever being witnessed by humans. Between 1975 and 1992, for example, American missile early warning satellites detected 136 major explosions in the upper atmosphere caused by moderately sized airbursting meteors. This map here shows you the frequency of airburst meteors between 1 and 20 meters in size between 1994 and 2013, which you can see are fairly common events. But what about the really scary asteroids that could wipe out an entire city, or even all of human civilization? civilization, you may be asking. Well, asteroids about 20 meters wide, about the size of a six-story building, hit the Earth about twice every 100 years and cause an explosion of about 500 kilotons, or about 30 times the scale of Hiroshima. The last one of these sized events happened fairly recently in 2013 over Chelyabinsk, Russia. The asteroid remained undetected by humanity until it entered the atmosphere and weighed about the same as the Eiffel Tower, despite being just 20 meters wide. It was witnessed by thousands of people before exploding 30 kilometers above the ground, which damaged 7,200 buildings across six different cities like this one, injured 1,500 people severely enough to visit a hospital, and caused $30 million in damage. Coincidentally, just 16 hours after this meteor struck the Earth, another asteroid that was 50% larger at 30 meters wide just barely missed the Earth at a distance of only 27,700 kilometers, or about the distance of two Earths placed side by side. The asteroids were not related to each other and had completely different orbits, but it's not the first weird coincidence Earth or even humanity has had with near-miss asteroids. On March 23, 1989, an asteroid 300 meters wide, about the same size as this skyscraper in Dubai, missed the Earth by just 700,000 kilometers and passed through the exact same position that the Earth was in a mere six hours previously. Had that asteroid been only six hours early on its journey of millions of years, it would have impacted and caused the largest explosion in all of recorded history. About 600 megatons, or 12 times the power of the Tsar Bomba, the largest new nuclear weapon ever detonated. The largest meteor known to have actually hit the Earth during our recorded history was probably the Tunguska event, which happened back in 1908. In that year, an asteroid somewhere between 60 meters and 190 meters wide exploded just a few kilometers above the remote wilderness of Siberia. The power of the explosion was somewhere between 3 and 5 megatons, comparable to a modern-day hydrogen bomb. It is estimated that 80 million trees were destroyed by the blast over an area about the size of Rhode Island, but because of the extreme remoteness of Siberia, especially in 1908, it's unknown if anybody actually died from this event. But the shockwave did reportedly shatter windows and knock people down up to hundreds of kilometers away. An event like this is estimated to happen only about every 1200 years on average, but there are even larger asteroids that have hit the Earth in prehistoric times that may hit us in the future. 
Asteroids the size of one kilometer appear to hit our planet about once every 444,000 years and release about 23,000 megatons, or 460 czar bombas. Larger 5-kilometer asteroids impact the Earth about once every 20 million years and can create explosions equal to 2.84 gigatons, or 56,800 czar bombas. And finally, truly titanic asteroids over 10 kilometers in size that are capable of ending life on the planet strike the Earth very rarely. The last known instance of something this big hitting our planet was 66 million years ago, but it did completely wipe out about 75% of all living things on the planet, including the dinosaurs. Assuming that these rates continue for the next billion years, there exists right now about 2,000 asteroids larger than one kilometer that will eventually strike our planet. But when and where exactly may these apocalypses happen? To answer that question, we must understand that there are an estimated 14,000 asteroids that are considered near-Earth objects, meaning that their orbits come relatively close to Earth at some point. 93% of these asteroids that are one kilometer wide or larger are thought to have been discovered, which would leave about 70 of these massive objects remaining so far undetected in the darkness. Of all the asteroids that have been discovered, 1,651 are considered by NASA to be potentially hazardous, out of which 157 are larger than one kilometer. But unless humanity is absurdly unlucky, our odds of being struck by any of these in the near future is almost nil. The most likely impact is with an asteroid 160 meters wide, which would be bad if it happened, but the odds are only 1 in 625, and it wouldn't even hit until sometime between 2185 and 2198. Another asteroid about 490 meters wide, which would be a lot worse, but has just a 1 in 2700 chance of hitting us around that same time frame. And the third most likely on the list is a big one at 1.3 kilometers wide, but only has a 1 in 8333 chance of hitting our planet in the distant future of 2880. But that's still a little better odds than you winning an Academy Award sometime in your lifetime, and significantly better than your odds of ever winning the lottery. In the very far distant future, about 1.35 million years from now, the star Gliese 710 will pass a mere 77 light days from the Earth, which is 20 times closer to us than the closest star is today. And it would severely mess up our solar system by sending more asteroids flying towards us from the outer reaches of the solar system. There are over 2,000 huge asteroids waiting for our planet in the distant future, but will humanity still be waiting around for their arrival when they inevitably come knocking? So thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed what you just watched, and if you did, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel to stay updated with content just like this in the future by clicking over here. You can watch some of my older videos in the meantime by clicking over here on the left side, and I'll be looking forward to you watching my next video soon. Thank you so much again for watching.